year's resolutions include finding a new job, even launching a completely different career. So what do you need to know before you even start searching? Cincinnati career coach Dana Glasgow joins us with the answers. Dana, thanks for coming in again. My pleasure. Job market for 2012, how's it looking? It's looking a tad better, Tom. Really? Mm -hmm. Not a ton, but a tad? A tad better. And it's, it's looking better at the high end, the senior level, and the tech level, and the lower end. There's still a problem in the middle really? where most of us are at. Yeah, for sure. All right, so critical things that you must do to manage your career in these really, ter I mean, this is, I've never seen, I don't think as an adult I've never witnessed some, this, this kind of recession at all. So what can we do to manage our careers? For 2012, what you need to do is keep your qualifications minty fresh. Really? Make certain that um, you have something fresh to put on that resume. I have a philosophy, add a new tool to your toolbox every year. Really? Go to That's a workshop, a go to a, a, a convention, something to add to that to that resume. Even if it's, you know, mastering a new skill, I, 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 this is going to sound silly, but like a PowerPoint that you've become, you've mastered PowerPoint Absolutely. or something like that. Something as simple as that can make people go, oh, look, they're continuing to progress themselves. Absolutely. Wonderful. All right. We talked about this a little off air. LinkedIn. People ask me all the time to be on it. I'm not on LinkedIn. Do we need to be on LinkedIn? Tanya, for 2012, my advice would be get on LinkedIn. Get on LinkedIn. Okay. It's, it's the business networking tool that most of us are using. There's 120 million users out there. I know I could not do my job without LinkedIn. And I know my clients could not do their job of looking for a job without that tool. Okay, so really you, you're be able then to reach out to people in your network that you create mm -hmm. on LinkedIn Absolutely. and say, hey, look, I'm looking for a job in plastics. Anyone got anything out there? And, and that's how and it And then goes. what you do is you plug in plastics or you plug in a particular industry that you're going after and you see who you're connected to. And then what I do is I pick up the telephone and I call them Wow. Yeah. and say, I see that you have a position open or I am targeting your company. Yeah. And I think that, that you're right. Everything is electronic now and then you have to have that human touch. Is there one piece of advice that you would give somebody who is looking to get a job or change careers this year? The importance of relationships. Really? I, I, I it know. It down to that. It really is the human it, touch. It is the human touch. And it's building, nurturing, developing those relationships. And don't wait until you're in a career jam to start building those. Start building them now. Dana, you have to come in more often. I think people out there right now are going, okay, I gotta write that down. And if you are, she's right, right? I'm gonna, all, I'm gonna be joining LinkedIn later today, so we'll all see you there. Thanks for stopping <laughs> My by. My pleasure. Domestic partners, could